In this lesson, you're going to learn how to find the lateral area, surface area, and volume of a cylinder. And the first thing we want to talk about are the formulas. And what's interesting, if you're familiar with uh, prisms, you can think of a cylinder kind of like a circular prism in a sense, because you've got uh, these two parallel and congruent bases, which in this case they're circles, separated by the height. So what you can do is you can take the perimeter of the base, okay, the perimeter of the circle, and multiply it by the height. And the perimeter of a circle is just the circumference, that's 2 pi r, times the height. So instead of memorizing this formula, you can memorize the formula for a prism and then just go ahead and substitute in uh, the circle for the perimeter, the circumference. For surface area, you're taking the lateral area, which is the area of the sides, but then you're adding on the area of the base times 2, since we have a top and a bottom. So surface area is like the total area. But of course, when you find the area of a circle, that's pi r squared. And we have two of those, so 2 pi r squared. And the lateral area, we already talked about that, that's 2 pi r h. So a lot of times students like to memorize this formula, but I kind of like to use the general formula so there's a little bit less for me to memorize. And then the last thing is to find the volume. That's the area of the base, but of course we said the base is a circle, so that's pi r squared times the height. So we could think of pi r squared h for volume. Let's go ahead and do this problem. For number uh, one here, we want to find the lateral area which is the perimeter of the base, 2 pi r, that's the circumference, times the height. Now keep in mind, if I was to cut this and unroll it, you would have like a rectangle, that makes up the sides, and then at the top you'd have like a circle, and the bottom you'd have a circle. But the lateral area is just the area of this rectangle. This right here represents the circumference of the circle, which is 2 pi r times the height, Okay, and that's the area of a rectangle, right? So that's where that formula comes from. So we have 2 pi times the radius, which is 4, times the height, which is 7, and that comes out to 56 pi inches squared. So inches squared, since it's area, it's like you're covering the surface here with little 1 by 1 uh, square inches, uh, you know, little squares. So for surface area, now what we're going to do is we're going to add on these two bases in addition to the lateral area. So we've got area of a circle is pi r squared, so that's going to be pi times 4 squared, uh, but then you have two of them, so we have to double that, so that's going to be 16 times 2, which is 32 pi, plus the lateral area, which that's the area of the side, so that's going to give us 88 pi inches squared for the surface area, or the total area. Last part is finding the volume, that's like if you're going to fill this up with water, like this is a glass, how much would that contain? Well, we're going to do the area of the base, which is a circle, pi r squared, times the height. The radius we said was 4 squared, and the height is 7. So let's see, that's going to be 16 times 7, which is 112 pi inches cubed. So it's like you're filling this up with like little 1 by 1 by 1 ice cubes, and you're, that's how many would fill up the inside of that glass. Now, if you want to see more about like cones and pyramids and prisms and all the different shapes together, I put together a comprehensive video right there where we go through all the different shapes and we talk about how the formulas are related and easy way to memorize them. Follow me over to that video and we'll dive into some more examples.